What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thank you so much for supporting my very own project that I've been doing here for about two years. Going to break down that first kind of half of Bohemian Rhapsody for you guys. We've got Capo on the third fret. Uh, you know, lots of just really interesting stuff to learn. Uh, also, I've got some free courses at my website, martymusic.com. First comment will take you there. Enough of that. Let's get going. Here we go. All right, Capo on the third fret. And the beginning is just vocals, but there's chords underneath it. Um, it's a G6. So it's just like a G chord, but with the open high E in there. And most of the Gs, the way I'm playing them in the song, are with ring finger, middle finger, and then the pinkies moving around. It's just what I'm used to, but you can do it that way if you need to. So, is this the real life? Then we go to A7, which is second fret D, Second fret B, oh, it's just fantasy. Scoot those two over to here. Index on the first of the B, you get D7. Caught in a landslide, no uh, regular G. Escape from reality. This is where the piano comes in. And so with guitar, we could start strumming it. And it's going to be E minor to G7. G7, so another reason why ring finger middle is because G7 has the first fret on the high E. Skies and C chord on the lyric C. C. So from the beginning of that, G6 to A7. Is this the real life? A7 fantasy, D7. God in D7, no regular G. Strum on E minor. Open your eyes. G7, look up to the sky and C chord. And I just kind of pick around it. A minor to D7. I'm just a boy. So A minor to D7. I'm just a poor boy. I need a word because I'm easy come, easy go, little high, little low. So that is one, two, three, fourth fret up. And I'm barring it across. And it looks like an F chord. Like that. So four, four, five, six. And they're just half steps. So four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three. Now we're at anywhere the wind blows. And so that's going to be C to G. Anywhere the wind blows or anywhere the wind blows. And then think A7 to D7 doesn't really matter. To me, to me. Now on this A7, though, we're going to go back. Don't worry. But I said uh, C and the G blows. A7, D7 to me, to me. So on this A7, the bass is playing this. So if you still play A7 with middle and ring finger, you can grab that first fret of the of the A string and it gives you that nice diminished classical thing. So check it out. Anywhere the G blows doesn't really matter to me. To me. So let's go back to the beginning. Is this just real life? G6. Is this the real G6? A7 fantasy. D7. Da, da, no, a regular G, 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 G. Strum on the E minor. Open your E minor. G7. Then C. A minor. I'm A minor. Then the D7, now the 4th fret F shape. 
C major, C major to G chord, A diminished thing, D7, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, next part. They're doing a lot of the same pattern here in this next section. So let's take that G6 chord with the ring finger and middle finger preferably, and we're going to pick this. And I'm actually, I'm actually skipping that A string, but some of you might want to strum it. It's going to be, it's going to sound better, especially if you hit it by accident, you know, that shape. But I'm going to, the, the, the true picking pattern on the piano translated to guitar would be so I just went all the way down just skipping the A string right but then I hop back to the D string so check it out then Pinky's going to grab third of the B so watch that And then you're going to double back to that D again. Now, it's okay if you're, if you're singing, a, you know, a open mic night or a campfire or whatever. You know, the melody is that open E and third fret B. So back to the pattern, though. See that? So it's like really slow. Now we're going to go to E minor. And you don't have to do anything new. So if you already have the G down. Mama. You know, the vocals come in on the third one. You go to E minor, same right hand pattern. Man. But. So the right hand's the same, but you have to go. When you get, uh, you could even plant it there. This is called E minor nine. Back to that D. Pinky comes off. Back to the D. So it would look like this. All right, so where the vocals would come in, let's do it nice and slow. Now I'm hitting the open A and I'm grabbing this little minor shape right here. It comes from like the E minor shape, but I've got the open A, which makes it nice. I mean, you could go, yeah, no, let's just do it this way. So you're barring the fifth fret, ring fingers on the seventh up from the capo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's barred across. Pinky's on that seventh up from the capo on the high E, right? Same as the ring finger. So you have this little shape. It's the exact same thing as the E minor one, but we have to bar it. So open A. Sorry. So from the vocals, see that? Then a regular A minor to D. starts back from the top of that vocal part. Now A 
minor. But let's stop right there and go back to uh, the very beginning. Center page A7 fantasy, D7 landslide, no achieves from reality. Strum on E minor. Open the eyes. G7, and then a C. A minor to D7. A minor. And an open the fourth fret F shape. Coming down, easy go. Little high, little low. C to G. Anywhere the wind blows. A diminished D7. Seven, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the new part. Second time. Vocals, mother, E minor, up here, A minor, D, see that, so from here, A minor, so this is an A minor as well, but it's just that voicing, that piano voicing. So you could even just stay at the A minor for that whole thing, but man, doesn't that sound good? Back to the just begun. <laughs> Sorry, I can't sing and play that. Uh, now I've got Right, so there's just a thing, it's A minor, and then it, you know, my fingers aren't the longest, so. And I'm grabbing, bam, up four, one, two, three, four, with my pinky on that low E. And if you get pieces of that, I'm trying to just, I'm using my pinky on these first two notes, using as much as that A minor in there as I can, because it's just, the A minor is the underlying chord. It's just all. And I finally end it with an open E, so check it out. Uh, yeah, see, I do it this way. So I'm going. Uh, Then I just move my middle finger now up to the second fret. And the rest of the, if you strum the whole thing, it sounds good. Then just my ring finger stay now. I mean, you could try and grab. Nah. Goes by really fast. And we're playing part of the bass player's Part, but it sounds cool than just the open E. So. Okay. Very weird, but in the context of the music, it works pretty good. C, walk down A minor. You could go up to that again, so check it out. C. Middle finger goes to second fret. No, that stays. Middle finger goes to the second fret of the A string. So you got A minor. If you grab that fifth fret bar again, for fun, you can. You don't have to. So mama, walk down A minor. 
You know what I mean? Now D minor, and I'm using these three fingers for D minor. More of that walkie down, but instead of A minor on the E string, now it's D minor and the pinky on the A string. It goes D minor, four, three, two. Same fingering as I was doing with the A minor kind of thing, like with the pinky, four, three, middle finger comes off. I'm just kind of hitting that by itself. The other uh, notes in there are fine. It's actually a really cool kind of G inversion. So check it out. D minor, 4, 3, 2, G, 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 G to C. Walk down, down to the A minor. F minor to the C. All right, let's go over that A minor uh, with the lots of pinkies, D minor with the lots of pinkies into the end here, because we're almost done. So we've got the A minor, four, three, middle on the two, index on the one, open, right? So it's like. Open E, then we've got C walk down. can go up to here, and then D minor, I don't want to die, three, uh, da, four, three, middle finger two, grab the G, C walk down to A minor again, now F minor to C, nothing really, one and two, and boo da, do da, do da, do da, do da, Right back to the top. Mama. And so we've got that C chord, one and two and Buddha. And so it's the 10th fret up on the B, 10th fret up from the capo on the B string, eighth fret up from the capo on the high E string. And then I just move that B string down a whole step, keep the high E, so I bar it, then I move down and then another into this again. All right, now let's just do a slow walkthrough of everything we've learned. Uh, G6. Is this the G6? A7 fantasy, then D7. Cod in D7, G. No escape from reality. Then we start strumming on E minor. E minor, yeah. G7. G7 to the C. A minor. I'm just A minor to D7. Because I'm 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3. Two, three, C, and E, C, the G chord, A diminished, D7, Now we do the G6 vocal parts getting ready to come in. Vocals, mama. Up here, A minor regular, and then D, kind of back to that G again, E minor, now the weird stuff, four, three, middle on two, index on one, open E, C, we're going to walk down A minor, you can go up here. D minor, and then on the A, four, three, two, with the middle, G, down and on a C, walk down to A minor, now F minor, F minor to a C major, then slide 10, eight and seven, six, boom. G 
again. Goes, goes through that whole thing again, and then you enter into the next phase of the song. So I hope that was fun. Good luck. All right, there was the lesson. Thank you again. I hope you made it all the way through. Lots of good techniques in there. Also, thanks for supporting Marty Music and subscribing right here. If you don't mind, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, hope to see you again real soon. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs>